Hello everybody, Admiral Kroll here, reporting for duty. Welcome back to Hold Your Own. Last time we got all this nifty stuff made, our initial base of operations. I've spent the night and the better part of day two gathering iron and supplies to make our workbench and I have eight here for a total of 54 iron ingots that I gathered today gathered up a bunch of nails so we have all the parts ready to make our workbench which is here in placeables workbench you need 20 each of planks, nails, and ingots, and then four wooden pillars. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that crafted up. Three minutes. And <clears throat> that's something I think is a little bit of a drag when it comes to hold your own. Is the crafting time. I mean, during the daytime you can multitask and get some things going while you're out and about. But at nighttime, at least at this point... It gets dark, very, very, very dark. And it's tough to see. And yet, you do have a torch, and it gives you a little bit of visibility range. But with the wolves and bears about, you got to be careful at night. I also met, there's a house kind of over this way right there. And I managed to kill the guard without dying. Bravely, <laughs> I had five HPs left when the conflict was over. And raided him for all his stuffs and went through uh, the house. And I went back in, into the village by the windmills, which I think is over this way. And went through the houses again and scored a bunch of stuff so yeah we're ready to make some progress here and we're gonna um, while we're crafting that bench we're gonna look at foundations here and we're gonna make another foundation because things are getting a little tight so we're gonna need some more wooden pillars we'll do eight wooden pillars and Three, wait, hold on. Foundation, how many? 15. All right, so we need 15 wooden planks. One, two, three, four, five. Because you get three planks per craft, I discovered. So we'll get those going. And we'll have the nails. And we'll get another foundation here, and we can move some stuff about as we talked about before. With the M key, you can move everything, and we'll space some things out because we're getting room for the workbench and probably um, a loom so we can get some kind of protection going because we don't have any sort of armor or other form of protection. So that's going to be the goal for today. To get the workbench up see it gets really really dark and if you put your torch away it's really dark sweet we completed a quest we made our crafting table so we'll put that in our inventory here and we're probably going to put this right between the forge and the bed for the time being until we can get this other foundation done. All right, so we'll pull our torch out again. There we go. We have our workbench, Alex and Bob Ganoush. And let's go see what we can make in here. Looks like all kinds of nifty stuff. Empty container, batteries, beakers, seeds. Ooh, a chemistry station. A control panel, copper wire, 
an empty can. I don't know what you need an empty can for. A gun safe. Storage chest for weapons. That's always good. And there's the loom I was just talking about. This will help us make um, clothing and other body protection items. We can make a military crate, which is a bigger, better storage container. And we can make our own nails. That's awesome. I wonder. One ingot for five nails. Ten seconds. That's not too bad, actually. A saw bench. Crafting station used to make various items. Pig hut, cow barn, chicken coop, to name a few. So we can get some, some agriculture going on. That's really nice. A weapons bench, a wood stove, and a workshop bench. A workshop bench? Where? Placeables. Workshop. That must go in there. Sweet. What do we need for the workshop? Oh, we need plans. We need all kinds of stuff. 50 mechanical parts, 50 electrical parts, 50 aluminum ingots, and a workshop blueprint. I have no idea where to get that. Um, but our next active quest is to rescue the trader. So we have to do some preparations. And the trader is up in the motel city area where by the windmills where I was just at earlier I avoided there's two guards up there so we got to take those guys out and we're only sitting at 65 HPs which isn't really good right now um, so we're gonna have to be really really careful when we attempt that but so looking at all right, our pillars are done and our planks are done. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get another foundation made. And we'll place that right beside this one over here. And we'll move some stuff around so we have a little bit more workspace. And seeing all the things that we can make, we're going to end up basically building a compound, it looks like. And this is going to be... This is not a quick game. No survival game is a quick game. So hopefully we can get a nice a nice work area made and see how things develop. But so some other things I scored, I made a couple more iron pickaxes because we don't have the ability to repair them at this time. So, I made some extras, and there are only 15 iron ore, or 15? Let's double check that. That doesn't sound right. Nope, it wasn't. Five. I made three because I had 15, so there are five, five iron ore, five wood. And they're relatively cheap to make, and you get so much in return. So, make a few of those first off. So, you have some extras. And hold on to the ones that break because I believe in due time we can repair them. All right, so it looks like our foundation is ready. Let's go ahead and we'll get this placed and we'll move some stuff around. Nice, very, very nice. Awesome. So let's move our bed over to the other end, other end here, and we'll put our our chest over here too. At least I hope we can move it with stuff in it. Yes, we can. Awesome. All right, so now we got more workspace, which is very, very good. So we got 26 nails left. We have 34 ingots left. I'm half tempted to turn those into nails. So we have lots and lots of nails. Because I had to traverse like half the island to get the iron ore to make that. And 
spent, like I was saying, I spent the entirety of day two uh, gathering up materials for this. So, into our workbench we go. Now we're going to con contemplate our next course of action. I'm not sure if we should build the chemistry station, which is right here, or make the loom. You know what, we have one plank, so we're going to go ahead and make the loom first. So let's go ahead and 369. All right, so two minutes on that. And did we need wooden pillar? I have four, so I think we're set on that, not loom. Yep, four wooden pillars. We have the nails and we have the iron ingots. We need 10 nails for that. Maybe we can do both. We need 30 nails. No, we can't do both. But we can make some nails in order to do that. So let's look at the loom again, see how many we need so we don't burn them all up. We need 10 nails and two iron ingots. So we can make quite a few nails. Okay, so one iron ingot makes five nails. So let's do, oh wait, we got to put the ingot in the workbench, right. So let's do 20. Twenty times five, that's going to be a hundred nails, which sounds like a lot, but it's really, it's really not, unfortunately. Um, and hopefully, as we start making our way around to these other islands, we can get a good supply of materials to make this progression happen. So we're working on the loom. got our 10 nails we got oh we got to make this in here so we got our 10 nails we got our two iron ingots we got our four pillars and we got our planks so we'll have to probably reopen this what they're in here why can't it why isn't it seeing it? Oh, there we go. That was weird. All right, but everything is registering now, and we can go ahead and we'll get that queued up. And as soon as we're ready to place this, we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. While I was waiting, I went and gathered some more wood and cut down some palm trees for plant fibers. And it looks like our loom is ready. So let's go ahead and let's get this placed out. And we're going to do it right here next to the workbench. There we are, Alex and Baba Ganoush. And let's take a look at this. Wow, that's a pretty neat looking print on that fabric. I wouldn't personally wear it, though. It's still pretty neat. All right, so let's look in here. We can make silk, lion fur, Kevlar, fabric, and cloth. Now, I want to do a comparison. Let's put a stack of cloth in here. Let's craft one. Okay, so that took, looks like two seconds. Now let's craft one in our inventory just to see if, if this is really beneficial. If we craft one in our inventory, it takes 20 seconds. So yeah, way, way faster. Way, way faster. So definitely, definitely need to get those crafting stations up and going. All right, so if we let's do the maximum amount of eight cloth. 15 seconds for eight cloth. Look at that. Good Lord. So that means if we go on our workbench and we take a look at, where'd it go? I know it's in here somewhere. Chemistry state. I thought there was a saw bench. There it is. Yes, there is. 
15 planks, 15 nails, or 25 planks, 25 nails, 20 iron ingots. We're short on the iron right now, but that's going to be the next thing we get going. And I imagine it's going to be wicked fast for making planks, planks and pillars. Uh, chemistry station, yeah, so saw bench is going to be next in the line of the works. And again, if we look at that, we need 20 ingots, and I have 12, so we need 8 more. That means we need about 40 more iron ore. And I'm going to go gather up that 40 iron ore and cook that up. And when we're ready to make the saw bench, I'll bring you guys back. All right, and we're back. I got the 40 iron we need to cook up. And this is the house that I killed the guard at. And I brought you in because we're getting close to being ready to build the saw bench. And I found another house right up on this hill there. There's a house and there's going to be a guard at that house. So we're going to have to eliminate him and we're going to ransack it and see what we can find so the plan of action now is we're going to cook up that iron we're going to make our saw bench and do some preparations to go on an adventure we're going to eliminate the guard at that house and we're going to go rescue the trader so let's put this in here and we need a stack of wood for the forge Iron ingots. We bam, there's the eight we needed. And while that cooks up, let's take a look at our personal crafting and let's see what we can make. We can make some pants. So let's go ahead and make the pants. Gives us a little two armor. It's a little bit of armor. And plant fiber cap. We need 10 plant fiber. That won't be hard to get. Military boots. No, nope, we can't make those yet. Leather boots. Sweet. No, nope, we're going to be short. We can't make that yet because we don't have what we need to make the fabric. All right. Well, so no boots. We can make a t-shirt. So let's go in our loom. Let's take the 10 cloth out. Let's go ahead and make our get our t-shirt queued up. So we have at least a little bit of protection. Plant fiber cap. That's going to be the next thing. We need to cut some palm trees down for that. Yeah, man, we're going to need to make an axe soon too. Our axe is starting to get wore out. This is still the same axe that we started with. But we're making our first protective items cap and t shirt and pants. And we'll do one more tree for good measure. Awesome. So let's go put that fiber in the loom. No, we need it on our person. That's right. Take the fiber from the loom, I meant. All right, look at our clothing tab. Plant fiber cap is one armor. So we're going to have five armor. There's our T-shirt. Which, looking at the stats here, we got four armor and negative four heat. So the t-shirt is keeping us cool. That's definitely a good thing. Don't want to be too hot. I don't know if that is... If heat is a thing for how much you, lose, you consume water and things of that nature...
And there's our ball cap. Sweet. Now we have five armor. And the, the ball cap helps keep us cool, too. Reduces your body temperature. That's awesome. Can't wait to get into these other these boots, this chest armor, things of that nature. As soon as we can find out where to get some of these materials, like the silk, where to get spider webs to make the silk, um, that's going to be very fun. Getting ourselves really decked out so we don't have to worry about being so fragile. However, let's take a look at our ingots so we can get back to our saw bench. Yep, there's our eight ingots. Turn our forge off. All right, now let's put this in here. Take a look at the saw bench real quick. 25 planks for wooden pillars. Now I thought I had wooden pillars. I had eight. I know I had eight. That's okay. We'll go and we'll just make some up real quick. We need to make one more set of planks because we're one plank shy. And we'll make four wooden pillars. I swear I had more, but No, I'm not missing them. Did I misplace them somewhere? No. Huh. Weird. That's all right. So, here shortly and about, we'll be ready to place our saw bench. And we'll take a look at that before we go on our trader rescuing adventure. Okay, so we got our 25 planks. We got our four wooden pillars. We have our 20 iron ingots. We have everything we need. So let's go ahead and make the saw bench. All right, so while that's going, we'll go on our trader adventure. It's going to take three minutes to make that trader rescuing adventure. We've got a little bit of armor, and we're about three quarter HPs almost. I don't have any medicinal herbs. I don't have any healing. And so hopefully this little bit of armor we have will offer us enough protection. Let's kill that bear real quick. Ouch. Well, that just wrecked it. That took five arrows to kill that guy. It's usually four. I don't know what the deal was with that, but hey, that's all right. We got hit, though. I don't even know where this guy's at. Every house has a guard, and I don't know where he's at because it's a weird positioning. We just got to approach from a different angle. 17 HPs. I don't know, man. Okay, there he is right there. Maybe we can sneak inside without him seeing us. Let's try that. Maybe we can find a health pack or something. That would be pretty sweet. All right, so we're tiptoeing inside. Juice is good. We'll take the wood.
Okay, so we're going to have to come back and kill this guy later. Primary focus is going to be rescuing the trader. I'm hoping we can find some um, more murky water, which we can cook in our campfire and make clean water. More bullet tips, which is good. Not that we're hurting for bullets right now, but we only got four clips, and we can burn through that pretty pretty fast. So, Ooh, five more bullets. 20 more nails! Hell yeah! Kevlar, that's going to be good take. We'll keep the iron ore and gas cans. We're going to stockpile the gas cans for later use. And pistol frame and gun parts, we don't need those right now because we don't have a weapons bench. We'll take that wood as well. <clears throat> so yeah, a um, little bit of a hiccup there. I didn't expect to get hit by that bear. Alright, so now we're going to sneak out of here. And we'll go back to our developing work area. And check on our saw bench, and we'll investigate that. Saw bench is ready. Alakazam Baba Ganoush, we'll... We have a saw bench. And this is going to be really interesting to see how fast we can make building materials with this. All right, wooden plank. Let's put a pile of wood in here. Wooden plank. Let's craft one. 10 seconds versus 30 seconds on your person. So it's three times faster. That's awesome. A plant bed. A shipyard. Interesting. Crafting station for boat related items. We can make our own boats. Oh man. A pig hut, a cow barn, a chicken coop. And that looks like about it. A plant bed. Grow your own food. That is awesome. We need to make fertilizer though. I don't know what we use to make fertilizer. So much to do. So much going on. This is pretty pretty in-depth game and it's going to take some time to really get situated but there's a bear out there and we need to kill it and <clears throat> we got hit by the last one but we won't get hit by this one yep five arrows on that one too I wonder if they get stronger as you develop. Like, what's another game that does that? Elder Scrolls does that. Everything kind of levels up as you level up to keep the challenge there. Um, that would be weird. Interesting, but weird. That's okay. We're racking up the animal hides, which means we can get leather made for some other various items. So we'll put these in our store box. Is that only stacked to 25? Yes, leather only stacked, or animal hides only stacked to 25. And we have five iron ingots I didn't realize were stashed in here. Oh my God. That's all right. So we're going to get a pile of wood, a couple piles of wood in here. And we're just going to make a bunch of planks because that's fast, way faster. Eight minutes for 50 planks times three is 150 planks. That will take forever in our personal inventory. Holy cow. Oh, my God. I'm getting... So water is low. Carbs are low. And we're going to worry about survival now. Um, do I have any... All right, so we can cook some potatoes here. All 
and we might as well cook our meats here hold on where is our meats grilled meat there we are we'll get that cooked up we'll put our murky water in here and get that cooked up sweet I have some juice that'll help the situation <laughs> all right so we're gonna drink the milk get our proteins up and the potatoes will help with our carbs so yeah I really wanted to go rescue that trader but now we got to worry about is that two backpacks now we got to find some way to make get ourselves patched up man before we go do that because there's two guards up there and them guys aren't they are no joke is that another house wow I'm situated in a in <laughs> kind of a good spot there's a house up let's go check this house up up here so instead of rescuing the trader we're on a ransacking adventure which is all right because we need supplies anyway and I'm hoping where did that house go there it is I'm hoping that this house we can also sneak into and find a health pack or something like that first aid kit medicinal herbs something water will take all good stuff right there coffee helps with stamina let's go ahead sneak inside here oh there's a crate crates usually have good stuff some more gold coins for reckoning up the gold coins 224 at the moment and it doesn't oh he's right there through the window but it doesn't look like he can see us oh thank god take the bullets the kevlar the gunpowder and we'll leave those parts there there's a lot of pistol parts on the island So that's not going to be hard because the pistol does have durability and it doesn't seem to be going by very fast. And this house doesn't have a whole lot in it. It was just that crate. Oh, no, there's a backpack here. Some cement, we need that. Biofuel uh, uses fuel source for the power generator one can generates three minutes of fuel yeah we're gonna take that too all right so not a lot going on a lamp that's a really cool looking lamp post that's a weird place to have it though <laughs> Put an outdoor lamp post inside yeah so wow gonna need to find some way to patch ourselves up like I was stating and there's the windmills let's go let's go and scour through here again hopefully some things oh, there's an apple Hopefully some con ransackable containers um, came back or respawned, whichever, and we can find something to patch ourselves up with. Nine millimeter ammo, was that bullets? Yep, that was bullets. We should be able to ransack the cupboards and stuff too. I think that would that. Sh oh, there's a bear in the town. 
Why am I not surprised? Mechanical parts. Some more gold, bullet tips, murky water, and clay. All good stuff, but not what we're looking for, man. See, there's one guard. There's two guards. We just, just don't have... We just don't have the HP to do it, man. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, we won't be able to rescue the traitor this time. Any new sacks or backpacks, anything? Not in this house. It's been about a full, a full day since I've been in here. Just trying to get a sense for rate of respawn or if it has to wait for you to, if it has to wait for you to log out, you know, save and exit the game. And every time you load up the game, items respawn that way. Not quite sure how, how that's working here. No bags. Let's take a look at this crate. No, nope, crate's still empty. Yeah, we're probably going to take out that bear too. As soon as I... There it is. This potato plant. No inventory space. Alright, so let's take out the... Let's take out the bear. Get a clean shot. There we go. Much better luck that time. Just got to be quick with those arrows. The good part is, as long as you get a straight line of sight, the bear will make a beeline to you. And keep your distance good, and you can kill it without much trouble. But I think that's all going to be... I think that's going to be all the time we have for today, folks. We made the loom. We made the saw bench and learned that crafting stations are way faster than crafting on your person. So we did make some progress today. Unfortunately, we were unable to rescue the trader until I can get myself patched up. So hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. And please feel free to subscribe for more games. This is Admiral Kroll signing off. We'll see you next time.